guys, we are back for another Dilkan battle video. We're going to go and hop into the most difficult fight in the game um, against 8th Anniversary Sin Shenron. Um, and we're going to test out Majin Vegeta in this. Now, um, I was considering using a double Majin Vegeta leader here. Um, because Majin Vegeta doesn't have as many 200% as, as you'd like. At, like, okay, so Majin Vegeta has his own 200%, but... As far as I'm aware, I, I think that's that's pretty much it. That, that's the only one he's on. He is on Piccolo Jr.'s team, but Majin Vegeta does not hit uh, Battle of Fate or World Tournament, right? And so we're, we're going to run Vegeta here on the Vegeta and Trunks team, which definitely is where Majin Vegeta will look the best, even though he doesn't have access to a 200% leader skill. I do typically really like to use characters under the 200% leader skill, but... I mean, this really is probably the best way to use this Majin Vegeta. We should probably be A-OK -okay right here. As long as we get Vegeta's orbs, I feel like he should be tanky enough against Sin. But we'll see. Um, I absolutely... Oh my god, we could we have gotten worse? No, 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 I'm not doing this. No, I'm... I'm a me Dude, no, 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 no. I'm immediately backing away. I, I, I took one glance at our rotations, and it was terrible. Because um, the 8th Anniversary Super Saiyan 3, Goku, and Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta, they are very good for this fight, right? Well, I mean, they could easily die against AJL Sin. It happens to me a lot. But they could take out the first phase of in Sin too fast. And then you're at AGL Sin, who's essentially Red Zone AGL Broly, and it becomes really bad. Um, I mean, this isn't that much better, but we we can can work with this. Oh, oh, oh! I need um, I need the intros on. I didn't turn them on yet, did I? No, no. Okay, well, we skip AGL Kai's intro. We'll we'll survive. Um, let's do this. Let's turn. Yeah. Okay. Oh, man. Um. Hmm. What are we thinking here? Because we have a lot of powerful characters. This is where, you know, you start running one of these teams and we have a huge amount of characters that has to fulfill different conditions, right? Like all these characters want to attack and stack and get hit and all this stuff. I think it's in our best interest to leave AGL, Kai, Goku, and slot one. Hmm... Um, I'm going to just give them potentially one super and give the, uh, Goku and Vegeta this. Now, I, I, my plan here is I'm going to float off Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta because they are going to demolish this first phase. And then we're going to be left in a position, right, where they can, they can easily get just completely crunched. Um, against AGL Sin, so we want to avoid that as much as possible. Now, taking at least a little bit of damage is definitely not going to be a huge deal. It really would be preferred because, remember, Majin Vegeta, right? He can be very good. Oh, actually, okay. Well, this is going to do some damage right here. Okay, sure. Yeah, some damage. We're okay. We're okay. A uh, little, little scary, but w so far, we're okay. Um, okay, okay, okay. Kind of... <laughs> Kind of an unfortunate spot. I chose to give them the key, and that, I guess, ended up being a bad decision right there. Sure, 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 sure. Um, Alright, so Vegeta needs three key spheres for 50% uh, defense, and then he needs six key spheres for an extra 20% damage reduction. So, it's like, it is going to be very important for us to get all that key. Yeah, well, this is actually probably just going to be an instant loss right there. That super attack. Oh, yeah. ぬ敵を宇宙最強お前が誇り高きサイヤ人の血を引く者ならば俺の息子ならば誰にも負けることは許さん俺超えてみせます目の前の敵もトンさんも取らんくすお前は赤ん坊の頃から一度も抱いて
All right. Um, now, one big differing thought I have than a lot of people. I'm not the biggest fan of that intro. I don't know. I not really the craziest um, to me. I, you know, <laughs> I say that, and I'm I'm ready for the the fire to rain down on me. All right. So, oof, oof, oof. This is why it can be good to be very low HP so that Macho Vegeta can create orbs, which he did, but this is still a pretty... This is bad. This is why moving too fast through the Sin fight can be in a pretty bad spot. Maybe we should have had better rotations here. This is... Damn, and it's not letting me do it the way I want to. Alright, well, we'll do this. Uh, we will be able to get... the three orbs here for Majin Vegeta, sure. And then I'll be able to give them that, which should allow them to get a stack in as well. All right, let's see how we do. We can make it through this turn. That Yeah, that is pretty bad, right? Like, we're not... We weren't really able to get, like, stacks in, build-ups. Like, we're <clears throat> potentially getting cooked here. Okay, again, moving super fast through this fight really does end up uh, turning into a negative. I might actually take off the 8th anniversary... Oh, don't you dare. Uh, okay, now remember, Vegeta gets a lot better defensively after he super attacks because he gets 30% defense from his super attack effect, then he also gets 50% defense from performing a super attack, right? He has 30% damage reduction built in with his intro, um, but then, of course, we didn't get the six orbs. Owie. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, listen, dude. A, a, a rough start. Uh, you know what's funny is, I mean, this, this could still easily be, like, a no-item run, like, win. Because we have we have a lot of characters on the team that have really special shit, right? Like, we, again, we've gotten, so far, we've been just railroaded. But I, this Vegeta and Trunks should not die, right? They, they should be okay right here. Um, and then now we're going to be able to get the standby. Oh, oh, we got this too. Okay, um, so we're gonna be able to do the standby, um, for Goku and Vegeta. Oh, and the piece of shit does an AoE right away, you bastard. That sucks. Okay. I would have liked uh, for Tech Goku to have gotten some hits in to build up a little bit first. Okay, but, um... Vegeta and Goku are going to save us with their standby right here, right? So we're going to waste their damage, but this is going to give us a nice reset. Now Tech Goku is going to be in gaming position, right? Like, we're, we're definitely going to be looking a little bit better here. Um, sure, let's go ahead and pop the standby and, and get a revive and stuff. Alright, so, um, what we'll do is this. Uh, it's such a shame that he's doing his AoE real fast, because... Again, I, I would have really liked for this tech Goku to maybe get hit a couple of times. And remember, e even though my Goku does have a full dodge build, so he could dodge, um, he's still going to build up his defense because he does get defense when guarding as well. Yeah, and this is going to hit him. Perfect. But then Vegeta dies. Okay. And then now we'll drop the Spirit Bomb. This is very helpful because this does give us a full heal as well. <laughs> No crit, of course. <clears throat> Imagine the spirit bomb critting, bruh. Imagine that. Uh, okay. Well. <laughs> um, all right. I, I think running path to power Kid Goku would be really helpful. Dude, what is this? 
What am I supposed to do? Alright, I mean, we're getting pretty bad luck so far in this run. Alright, this, this opened up nicely for them, though. That's really good. Okay, perfect, perfect. Uh, they would die if, if Sin supers in slot 3. It's instant death for them, unfortunately. Um, again, we would like to get their standby out as quick as possible, but, you know, when... when you, the thing is, like, the reason I build this team like this is, like, AGL Carnival Goku is, is you know, a good guard character. He can uh, tank Sin's AoE normals, which are devastating. Um, he also has a beam counter, which can help us in the first two phases. But his heal, which we already took advantage of, is so strong, right? Obviously. Okay. I, I mean... Oh. Oh, my God. That's really good. Because, I mean, obviously, we know he's going to take 450 right there. Right? Like, we know this. We already saw it. So... I'm glad I have the full dodge build on him. Again, I would like to point out that, you know, everyone was saying, oh, I'm the biggest dumbass in the world when I put full dodge on Majin Vegeta, but it's like, you know, I... Mm, mm, well, not really. Okay. Ay, 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 bruh. Okay, this... This has been a, a very spooky run so far. This hasn't really been, oh, Majin Vegeta's so weak or anything like that. We just have had... It's just dreadful RNG, right? Like, orb RNG and stuff like that. It's been pretty rough. Um, okay, so remember, Tech Goku is guaranteed guarding, right? Like, we're, we're at the guaranteed guard phase. What? What? Are you... What? He's... Oh, my God. Must be nice. He's AoEing once at the end. Okay, dude. That's not what makes this boss scary, right? The problem with this guy is when he does three of those AoEs in slot one. It becomes devastating. What do we want to do here? Um, all of these characters are really quite good. I, I guess we'll, we'll just do this. We'll be able to get them the 24 key easily. Remember that Tech Goku is completely safe and completely dominant at this point. Um, with his uh, guaranteed guard, right? Like, that Tech Goku... It, it, you know, he, he is, he's very scared. Like, his first turn, he's great. Then he's very scary until you revive, right? Because it's like, uh, you know, he could be done. Um, but uh, we were, we were getting bullied <laughs> so bad in this fight right here that we were able to get a lot of this stuff to activate. Uh, okay. How many supers did they do? Two? This will do some damage. 350, maybe? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, I mean... If they, I, I, they might have super attacked a little bit more than I thought, or been fully built up. But uh, if if Vegeta and Trunks, if they get to super attack first, they really can eat um, these big boss super attacks even better, right? Okay, that was pretty good. Um, another reason that was really good for us is, yeah, that actually is ideal because now uh, Majin and Vegeta will be able to create his int orbs. Which we could do in we could utilize Majin Vegeta's in orbs in two separate ways. Number one, we could give them to him because so he has his full damage reduction. Number two, we could give them to Vegeta and Trunks so that they could heal, right? That's something that's very big about the Majin Vegeta, Vegeta and Trunks combo, is him creating in orbs and then Vegeta and Trunks being a ridiculously powerful stacker who's able to just build up our HP by um you know, getting all these in orbs. That, that could be very, very good for us. Okay, this is actually going... We've had unbelievably horrible RNG, but we're just using such a stacked team that we just have powered through it, right? Like, these characters that heal us and stuff like that are just so big. All right, so Goku, yep, perfect. Build them stats up, boy. Love that, love that. GT, Goku, and Vegeta, they're completely fine in this phase. Yep, nice. He's eating those hits when I want him to. Beautiful. Uh, AGL Carnival, Goku is still guarding. Awesome. That's really good for us. Uh, because it's, uh, turn six. Okay, so... Man, I don't know. I mean, this, this is where it's like... I, again, I would love to rock Majin Vegeta on a 200% leader skill here. Um, I mean, he certainly could get another one. But, like, Bond of Parent and Child, right? Like, Vegeta and Chunks are the leader. That's the team we're running. Let, let me just go to his, um... Let me go to his categories and show this off. He really doesn't have many, many, like, good teams. I mean, he does, but he's not on the two. He doesn't have many 200%s, right? Power Beyond Super Saiyan, this one. That's the LR Gods, but that's Kamehameha, which obviously Majin Vegeta's not on, right? Gifted Warriors, uh, which is, oh, well, Gifted Warriors is up here. Uh, this category right here, right? Piccolo Jr. is, is buffing Battle of Fate. 
Um, then, oh, I guess... Yeah, because it, it's, like, connected. Hope doesn't have a good leader. Oh, Struggle doesn't have a good leader, right? Like, a lot of these teams don't have good leaders. Oh, I guess we could run them on the, um... LR Super Saiyan 3, Goku and Super Saiyan 2 Vegeta team. The only problem with that is we don't have Vegeta and Trunks, right? Like, that's why... Like, you gotta... Like, who who are we running this guy with if we're not running with Vegeta and Trunks? That's just such a sure combo. Maybe I I, I should hop back in on, on that setup. I, I overlooked the 8th anniversary setup. I feel like we're gonna do this turn, and I'm gonna come back in, and we're gonna get footage of Vegeta... Um, on that team as well. The only thing is, again, I'm not, I'm not too sure who I will link Vegeta with. Because this combo works so effectively. The problem here is, I wish... Do I put Majin Vegeta in slot 1 right here? Because what I would like to do is give Majin Vegeta the tech orbs and give Vegeta and Trunks the EGL, or the, the int orbs. That would be best, but that would be foolish of us to do. Let's do this. That'll heal us up a little bit. Now, remember, Majin Vegeta... I mean, he gets a lot of defense when he super attacks. We have to get the same. We're going to take damage here. All right. Um, right. Let's see what happens. Oh, I, I, actually, I think we're just dead. It, I mean, an immediate super attack. This debuffs him. Three, yeah, there's the 350. What does Majin Vegeta take right here? Oh, yeah. Wow. All right. Well, yeah, sure. Uh, I guess, I mean, it's not over because my Majin Vegeta and my EGL Carnival Goku, like, they've, you know, we got a lot of characters of full dodge, but, um, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, yeah, the, the instant super attack by Sin was, uh, devastating to us right there. Majin Vegeta taking 100k from the AoE normals. Again, he's not on the 200% leader skill, though. Uh, oh, that's, well, that doesn't matter, actually. That's good. Okay. Uh, no, we live. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're, we're fine. Majin Vegeta dodged. Oh my god, dude. I just... Can I retroactively go, like, find some of these people? Wasn't there, like, five Reddit posts made about how stupid I am? How I've... And I, how everyone is stupid on the friends list that followed my idea? Like, it's like, no, like, you know... Let me not let me not go on a 50-hour rant, but it's like, you know, it's almost like I know what I'm doing. It's almost like, you know, I'm not just trolling. I'm, you know, I'm not stupid. I don't understand. Not that I don't understand the game. Like, uh, I get it. <laughs> not my first rodeo playing the game, kids. I promise. Hmm. Okay. I think, yeah, I think now, like, we're going to win. Um, well, I mean, I guess as long as Sin doesn't immediately super attack us. Because the thing is, is... Let, let's do the Father, Son, Gallant Gun. Remember, I'm still going to come in for a second run and get some more footage of Majin Vegeta here. Alright, so I'm not really too sure how I want to play this, actually. L let's do... Oh, no, I, I don't want to do... Oh, damn. Okay, okay, okay. Let me explain my thinking. Sin... It is so... His super attack cooldown is so fast, dude. He flips those supers, like you guys see, so fast. The chances of him, that first attack being a super, are so high. Like, I really think he will. But, uh, the problem here is that, I mean, I mean, you could maybe say this is a Vegeta and Trunks issue. I believe at this point, they do have to be in slot one to guard. But... We also do want those in orbs for them as well, right? Like, yeah, okay, I, we're definitely going to have to do this. So, oh, man, I... Vegeta and Trunks, I mean, they can definitely live, but they just need to be able to super attack first, right? Like, they, we have the, the father-son Gallop gun is up. I, they can live here. All right, let's see what happens. We need more, more health, a little bit more health. 
用意をしろ元気玉の用意だあみんなオラに元気を可能な限り分けてくれ少しでも時間を稼ぐ。Ah,、uh, wait. He changed. Wait, dude. Are you kidding me? He changed the physical orbs. Why? I wanted those. I wanted those to heal. Oh my god. Wanted those to heal, dude. Come on. Um. Two ninety-six. Now he has a million defense, by the way. Yeah, we. Yeah, look at that. We need them in slot two to get the extra. Uh, what is that? That's prepare. F wh what link is that? That's that they're getting. That's prepare for battle. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna do this. Yep, perfect. Nice. Ah, <sighs> all right. Um, super attack right away. Yeah, he does, dude. Oh my god, this guy. Every turn, just instantly. I think this will barely kill it. Yeah. Oh god. I mean, the relentless immediate super attacks did get through to us. That was close. We were right there、uh, on the the precipice of a W. That was a, that was a fun run though. I, I enjoyed that one quite a bit. Um. Okay. Let me let let me switch over to the Super Saiyan three Goku Super Saiyan two Vegeta team. Um. Because I, I I did I did miss that their you know Vegeta is on their leader skill and he is getting their two hundred percent. I'm just not really too sure who I'm gonna run with Majin Vegeta. Like like what I want to do here. Um, but we'll come back and we'll we'll see how things are gonna work. I mean, we we definitely will be able to build a strong team, right? We'll be able to get like Blue Gogeta on here and stuff like that. So,、uh, I, I, actually, is that is that what I do? I mean, they'll have over and a flash together. But it's like the thing is, Majin Vegeta, Majin Vegeta doesn't really care about like key links because he needs six orbs anyway, right? Like this guy's key links for the most part don't really matter if this guy's gonna be used effectively because of the fact that he. Is, needs six orbs, regardless, right? So, all right, we're gonna come back. We saw on the Vegeta and Trunks team、uh, with the six orbs, he was taking a hundred k per AOE normal. Let's see how Vegeta does、um, with a two hundred percent leader skill. All right, guys. Actually, <laughs>、uh, I'm being a funny guy today, right? It's like, oh, right. No, he does have this two hundred percent leader skill. That would be great for him.、Uh, except there's a problem here. Uh, and that is that Trunks is not really on this team. I believe the only real Trunks we have access to are the Spirit Bomb Sword Trunkses, right? And it's like we can't. Now, I mean, you guys don't need me to tell you that we can't. These like this guy's unrunnable in this event, right? Like, yeah, we get that. So it, it's like Majin Vegeta. He really is in such a tricky spot, right? Like the one team where you're, he's really effective on is the Vegeta and Trunks team, but it's like you know he's on these some of these leader skills, right? Like he's on you know God Goku's you know pure Saiyan team,、um, Vegeta. But on God Goku's pure Saiyan team, he doesn't have the 200. And then remember, it is very unfortunate. Even though Vegeta and Trunks is a pure Saiyan and a hybrid Saiyan, they're not on either pure Saiyans or hybrid Saiyans. So Vegeta and Trunks are not on God Goku's leader skill, right? Which means. Um, that it's like Majin Vegeta is just in a very tricky spot where he's on a bunch of teams, but you can't get him on a 200% and get a good Trunks character. But the main reason is because there's only one good Trunks character, and that's Vegeta and Trunks, right? And that's exactly why you know, as much as people love to be like, oh, people underrated Majin Vegeta on release. No, that is not true.、Uh, Majin Vegeta has these huge. Flaws built in, but you know they really covered it up nicely by making you know at the time the best unit in the game Vegeta and Trunks, right? So because it's like I'm not, I mean, dude, what am I? Are we are we gonna <laughs> run AGL Super Saiyan three Trunks? Nah, we're good on that. So I, I guess we'll we'll go with the the footage that we had. I mean, Majin Vegeta, he he certainly can be okay in here, okay ish. I, I just don't know why. You, like, there's no point in running him though, right? Like it. You, you don't want to run this character. A hundred k from the AOE normals. I mean, we've certainly seen much, much worse. But it, it, it's like th this guy would be at huge risk at the end of the fight, and even the whole time in the fight, 
we really are at the mercy of the orb restrictions too, right? And as good as Vegeta and Trunks are, you know, they also need to get to 18 key as well. So uh, there certainly are issues. Um, let me know what you guys thought of Majin Vegeta in this fight. I mean, Majin Vegeta can be good. This is just not really a great fight for him because Majin Vegeta is one of, you know, 5,000 characters that gets a lot of defense when he attacks, right? 50% defense on super attack and then 30% from his super attack effect. That's going to be very important considering he's being hit by the most devastating physical boss, you know, type advantage over Vegeta uh, boss in the game. So this is just a very bad fight for Vegeta. And Vegeta is just still in a very tricky spot. He, he's on a lot of category teams, but them giving him the Trunks restriction um, makes it very tricky to build a team or make this guy worth running. So let me know what you guys think, uh, and I'll catch you all next time.